What's up, y'all? Hater Ray Cowboy back on the road again. I'm still in Houston, but this time I'm at the Grid Hi-Fi. As you can see, I have the Mac stack behind me. This stuff is insane. I've got Chris at Home Theater do behind the camera. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about this room and about some of the other stuff here at the Grid Hi-Fi. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content. <music> All right, Chris, what we got here at the Grid Hi-Fi? So what we got here at the Grid Hi-Fi is this amazing Macintosh room, right? So the thing that, that gets me the most are these massive speakers, right? I'm a super short dude, but these are freaking tall. So these are the XRT 2.1Ks. These are Macintosh flagship speakers. They are super heavy. They sound incredible. They have about a million tweeters and mid-bass drivers on there, as well as tons of room-filling bass throughout its entire construction. These things are massively heavy and uh, you really can't go wrong with them. So obviously powering the system, we got a couple different options over here, right? So let's just start out at what you choose. You can either do analog, which you have your VPI turntable right up here. This whole system is very, very complex, very, very sonically rich. Um, if you wanna get that nice little bit of, uh, of vinyl, uh, especially for you know like a throwback Thursday or something, so we have the VPI analog drive system down here. You can actually really, really dial this thing in with the spectroscope. So maybe some of your vinyls sound better sped up. Maybe some of them sound better slow down. Maybe some of them exactly right on exactly what it needs to be. So you can actually have the ability to change that stuff down here. Throughout the entire system, you can do analog. You can also do digital. So the digital platform is played through this streamer down here. This is the name network streamer. Obviously I was just uh, playing some really cool corn jams from, from back in the day, so Throwback Thursday. That goes directly via Claris tributary cabling into this Macintosh D1100. So this um, system works really, really great for your, uh, for your preamp, right? So what I like to do is have things separated out into actual um, preamps so that, so if you have a digital side, you have that one as well. If you have an analog side, you have that one as well. But uh, it looks like the way that Macintosh is going is that they want to make everything a mega brain, right? So you have your new C12000, which is the new flagship. It used to be the C1100, um, which used to be the double stacked unit. Obviously, you have your power down below and your control, or your, your power up here, and then you have all your switching down below. So these are two units, but basically you buy them in, in conjunction. You can't really use one without the other, so I don't see why you would, you would do that. But this is their new unit, so everything's going to be plugged into here now. And then it's a kind of a cool design. So you have uh, the ability of doing analog and digital all in one box. You have the, um, the tubes right here for your preamp section. And then you have these awesome Macintosh readouts that are just dancing as the, the music's playing. Obviously, you have your controls down below. And then ideally, you would have that going into a balanced amplifier for your speakers. So these are the MC. 2kw output <laughs> so these things are freaking massive these things actually go up to 8,000 watts for peaks so the idea is is that you have one for you know connecting everything and then you have two power modules because whenever you connect to your whenever you connect to the wall there's only a finite amount of power power that's going to come out of there so you have two of these things actually hooked up that double and total the 2,000 watts that, that you're going to get for your regular playing system so again you always want to match your amplifiers with perfectly matched speakers. These are the 2.1K uh, speakers, so they are roughly 2,100 watts capability of handling. These things sound incredible. I, I can't believe every single time I come in here, I don't even worry about, you guys will see this in the stack, I don't even worry about turning on this JL Audio system down here. We, we do have the phantoms in the back, so if you want to pan over there and show them that, these things are massive, right? So these are pretty big, right? About half the size of me. But I don't even worry about turning those things on. I just like sitting in the main listening position, which is roughly in the last third of the room. And then you hear these massive honking towers and it's just room filling bass. Nothing is overbearing. There's crystal clear, clear, uh, crystal clear clarity. The details are just in, insane. And to be honest, you think that these things would just be great for pianos, classical music, I jam 90s alternative on this stuff all the time, hip hop as well. It's just, there's nothing you can't throw at these things and you can seriously just turn this thing up to the nines 
and zero distortion. So that, that's, that's really, really cool. Besides that, we do have the REL Carbon series in here. And then we have a couple of different things for, uh, for different modules. But for right now, we're main, mainly using this as the Macintosh reference room. Um, you will see some TNA stuff over here. Um, not super popular in America just yet, but I will be doing a lot more videos on this stuff. I love it because it's so retro. It's so cool. You turn these dials. Let me see if I can get the microphone close to it. You turn these dials and it just, these, these contactors just click and everything is just nice and, uh, and balanced. So you also have a phono stage for that as well. You have your amplifiers, your preamps right there. This thing is incredible. If you want to live, you got to come in here. This, this stuff is super cool. So that's kind of like the tagline of the, the Terminator series, but I love the way it performs. And you can you have your run of the mill. You can hook up a, a integrated amplifier, do a one and done. These are very popular with the ladies. They like the ability just to, you know, have the ability just to do one box, get it set up, and then it has every single thing that you use. It's kind of like the, the kitchen sink. So it's basically just you throw everything at it and it just performs perfectly. That's not to be a, you know, a hit on, on women or anything, but that's just the analogy that I was using. But this thing's really, really cool as well. You do have the differences with your integrated amplification, two preamp, solid state, uh, amplification stage, tons of freaking inputs on the back. And then as well, we do have the synergistic research audio cable right there on the side, and then Claris and tributary cabling throughout the rest of the system. But that's kind of what we got going on here. Um, obviously, you guys are going to want to talk about the Macintosh box right here. So <laughs> lit up box that you guys can basically put all your snacks in and stuff like that, or maybe some vinyl or whatever it may be. But that's that's the grid. Come check us out. We'd love to have you out here. All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The Grid Hi-Fi. Come check them out, guys. They have some super, super awesome speakers, some awesome systems in here. I got to hear Sonus Faber for the first time. I got to hear Focal for the first time. And I got to hear those insane Macintosh speakers for the first time as well. And my first time hearing Macintosh, period. So the whole complete system, the amplifiers, the speakers, really, really awesome, super, super clear detail. I don't even really know how to describe it to you guys. You have to come check it out for yourself. But if you wanna come, come. And just, if you have the opportunity, come check out the stuff. They have some really cool memorabilia here. But if you want to reach out to Chris at Home Theater Dude, he has content on his YouTube channel as well. And The Grid Hi-Fi also has their own YouTube channel. So go over there, check them out, show them some love. I think Chris is double posting, you know, the stuff that he posts on his channel over to The Grid Hi-Fi. So thank you. And oh, look, look who's crashing my video. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.